and welcome to my channel being you now today i'm doing an all signs reading sun moon rising and venus please be mindful that energy is fluid so there may be changes in roles and gender so let's see what spirit has to say today please do stay till the end i will be pulling some oracle cards from decks that i have not used before so i'm super excited and I do these readings daily, so you can check my channel. Um, and thank you for all your likes, subscribes, and comments. They mean the world to me. Thank you so, so much, truly. I really appreciate each and every one of you. So let's see what messages the Spirit have. right let's see wow oh my goodness what is going on i have not seen this is a very interesting read we start off with the four of wands and then we've got the ten of wands and then we've got ten of swords Okay, I need to clarify because when I look at the four of wands, I, I see that you are happy, you feel, um, you, you feel happy, you, are, you feel like you've achieved something. And to me, this ten of swords and the ten of wands seems like past energy, but we will clarify. Wow, wow. I have not, seriously, I have never seen cards appear this way before, so... Okay, so I feel like with the ten of so I'm clarifying the four of four of ones, which is typically this is all about marriage, happiness, you know, house, home, um, joy. It could also be you know moving in together, buying a new home, um, or feeling like I I'm picking this energy that you are just feeling good at home at the moment. I just get this energy and feeling that you are feeling good at home you are comfortable in the space that you're in and uh, you really you're just happy you're just happy doing what you're doing in life and when I say life I mean you're just happy in the space that you're in right now and not anyway we'll see and the reason why I say that we have the star card so the star card is the Aquarius energy so you could be an Aquarius you could be dealing with an Aquarius However, I'm feeling that this star card is talking more about healing. So I feel the, the four of wands is being clarified by the star card is saying that you are really focusing on your turf. So when I say turf, you, where your, your patch, where you live, people you spend time with, who are you, who, who are you giving your time, energy and attention to? And I really feel like you're focusing on, okay, everything that's not serving you, you're eliminating. I feel like everything that has stopped you from growing, you know, spiritually, um, career wise, in business, in money, in love, you are becoming very protective. The word protective spirit is really sending me this word pro protective, that you're becoming very protective about who you're giving your time, attention and energy to at this moment in time. Let's clarify further. Yes. So. You are very, you, you being very independent. Uh, this t nine of pentacles is this card of independence. She is very happy with what she's achieved. She's independent. She's not relying on anybody. She's got all the, all the resources and everything she needs is right there in front of her and behind her. Anything she needs, all she needs to do is turn around, pick whatever she wants. She's got it there. She's not relying or calling on anybody else. And she's just elegantly and eloquently just looking out to see okay you know almost in a sense of from a place of groundedness from a place of groundedness and knowing that what is good for me right now what is good for me and what is not serving so this is really beautiful so you're feeling really em you are feeling in independent you're feeling strong within yourself you're feeling confident you're feeling resourceful so this is really good which is why it explains that you 
you have the four of wands. You're feeling joy and happy with what you've built and created for yourself, the life that you've created for yourself. Now, I want to understand what is this 10 of wands all about? What is spirit? What is this 10 of wands, please? What is this 10 of wands? Queen of cups. So I feel like emotionally, some of you might have been holding, you felt like the load was too much. And that would make sense because we had the Aquarius um, and the star sign come in earlier. So emotionally, I feel like here, the emotional burden has just been too much. It's just been too much. And you're looking down on your cup and you're like, you're really working on balancing the emotions and really working on what emotionally feels right for you. So really filling your cup. I feel like the past burden that has been released and now you're focusing on filling your own cup. So the 10 of wands I see is the past energy. Let's see if there's anything else. I do feel good about the queen of cups coming there. I don't. Yes. Yeah, so whatever this burden was, was causing a lot of stress, was really, really mentally, emotionally draining you. So whatever this 10 of wands was in relation to. And look, we've got the 10 of swords as well. So you've ended a cycle. So you've let that load go. And at the same time, you've worked on filling your own cup so that you can feel more connected with yourself and release these past worries, anxiety, and, um, you know, thoughts that were really, really weighing up mentally, emotionally. Let's clarify this 10 of swords. Let's clarify what this 10 of swords is. This is a very powerful reading. I've never like, yes, I've had 10 of, wands and ten of swords in nine of swords in readings before but i've never had the four of wands followed by the wand and the sword as the introduction okay so with the ten of swords i love this that this is the the advice or the clarification spirit is saying that the truth has been revealed you now know whatever this person's situation you know whether it was job experience relationship connection um, you now, the truth has been re revealed. The truth has been revealed and you know, and now there is a new beginning for you. That past you've left behind. So with the 10, and I love, I absolutely love this, that after the 10 of swords, you are starting a new cycle with the ace of swords. So you have brand new, fresh beginnings. This is the time for you to really step into your creativity, your passions, your inspiration, what lights you up. Spirit is give, it's like you've completed a cycle. Now it's time to move forward. Is there anything else we need to know regarding the Ace of Swords, please? Oh my goodness. This is like the most epic reading. Victory. So whatever this new venture, this new create creation, this passion, job, relationship, whatever your situation may be that you've left the burdens and ended a cycle with, there's victory coming. This is the ultimate victory card. I love it. Like to start the reading with the four of wands and to end the reading with the six of wands. Like this is the most magical reading like one could hope for. You're shining bright like a star. You are independent and in your power with the um, nine of pentacles and you are emotionally stable with the queen of cups and you are starting a new cycle which will be leading you to success. This like... This is the ultimate success card. So I am so happy and excited for you and this reading. So good. So good. All right. So I'm going to pull some cards from this is the goddess deck. I was guided to use this deck today. So let's see what message is coming out for the All Signs Collective. Ooh. okay there's quite a few cards that want to come out so we'll see okay i love this the first card is kuan yin compassion so it says release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone oh my goodness i love this so good and with the queen of cups appearing in this reading i really feel it's not just compassion for others, but it's also being compassionate towards yourself.
guiding children. So some of you may be working with children, have children, or are thinking about having children, or you may be, you know, guardian to children. It says, you are good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. That could be that inspiration. Perhaps your new idea involves something to do with children. Ooh, I love this. Receptivity. Such a powerful card. It says, allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. Oh my goodness. So powerful. Oh my goodness. Unconditional love. Again, the Queen of Cups energy, the Nine of Pentacles energy, love yourself, others in every situation, no matter what the outward appearances may be. Oh. Last but not least, to be bold, to shine like the star. I really feel like someone... Some of you here are really embarking on a journey that is going to be even beyond your dreams with the star card and the victory card in the same reading. Like that is, this will be even beyond what you could have ever imagined. Success even beyond you can even comprehend. This is like, you know, something that you may be like looking up to other people and you're like, this will never happen to me, but it will happen to you. You will be the one that's shining so bright and everybody else will be looking up to you. This is, this is you. Here it's saying, unleash your adventurous side, take risks and be daring. I love this. I love this. So I'm going to pull some cards from this other deck as well. Although I love what we've already got here because I did set the intention and I was guided to use this deck. Okay. Um, here's the card. Integrity is what's popped out. And it says, you demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with your every action. Now, I love this because you have the Ace of Swords card as well. And I really feel like now, whatever you do, integrity is going to be quite important in the way forward things have happened in the past with the ten of wands and the ten of swords it has made you really think about your values what you stand for and what you're here for and i really love this for you let's see if there's any other cards that want to pop out if you've enjoyed this reading please do hit the like subscribe button and i appreciate all your like subscribes comments always always kindness i love this we had the compassion card from the other deck and I love that spirit is just confirming and reaffirming the messages. So kindness here says you are a humanitarian made of love and you are able to share that energy with others. And it's so interesting. Like if I look at the Kuan Yin card here, it says the same thing. Release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. So we're getting the same messages. So I love this for the collective. So there you have it. That is your reading for today. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time.